Christian Bain Rivera was under no obligation to testify Wednesday, but he did in order to explain some damning evidence against him. Do you swear or affirm? Bain Rivera led off his testimony admitting to a key piece of the prosecution's evidence. Molly Tibbetts was in the Molly trunk Tibbetts of your car, isn't that, that right? Yes. yes. And you did not tell them no, uh, what no, really no, happened, no, isn't no, that no, right? Correct. Correct. Bayana Rivera says two masked armed men entered his house and forced him to drive, intercepting Molly Tibbetts as she was jogging. Then he says one of the men got out and came back later with her body. He testified that they told him to drive again to a Powasheed County cornfield and stop there, taking his phone and keys. He says the men told him not to tell anyone what happened and then threatened his daughter. He says they left and he never saw them again. He says he then opened the trunk, found his phone and keys, and Molly Tibbetts testifying that he took her body out of the trunk himself and placed it in the cornfield. Mr. Bahena. Prosecutors cross-examined Bahena Rivera trying to poke holes in his story, including the idea that the men simply left and why he never called police or told them this story. Do you remember being asked in the interview by uh, Ms. Romero if you were covering for anyone? Yes. And you told her that you were not, is that correct? Correct. So you were given an opportunity in the presence of law enforcement to tell what you've told us here today, correct? Correct. And you chose not to do that? At that moment, I was really scared. Reports say jurors were attentive in taking notes while Bahena Rivera was on the stand. Ultimately, it's up to 12 of them to decide whether his story rings true or rings true just enough to create reasonable doubt. In Davenport, Chris Gobner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.